My name is Paul Bredwell. I'm with the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association. And today I'm in Perry, Georgia, visiting Melissa Molazon, who is the Water Systems Manager for the Purdue Processing Facility. Melissa, how are you today? I'm good, Paul. How are you? I'm good, thank you. We're here today visiting Melissa because uh, this facility has been nominated as a semifinalist for U.S. Poultry and Eggs 2011 Clean Water Award. Melissa, we were here last year. Uh, last year you all received the runner-up and we're here again this year because clearly the committee thought that you were deserving of, of the award again. So we're, we're glad to be back. Thank you very much. I'm glad to have you here. Thank you. Melissa, can you can you tell us maybe some, some new things this year that we're going to see that we didn't see in last year's competition? Sure. Um, one of the big innovations that we've made this year is we've installed a new component to our pretreatment system, uh, a unit made by Griswold Water Systems. They call it the Edge. Um, would you like to see it? I'd love to. I'd love to. Go take a look. Paul, this is the Griswold Water Systems Edge unit that I told you about earlier. Can you tell us what it took to get the unit installed? Well, sure. Uh, we cut the pipe above and below. The unit simply sits in place and then attaches with two clamps. It's a very simple installation. And can you provide us a, a brief description of what the unit does or how the unit works? Sure. It uses an electromagnetic field to affect the particles in the wastewater, changing their charges so that it's easier for us to treat. Uh, the water just flows through. There's nothing inside the tube. All of the working parts are outside. Okay. And, and you as the operator, how do you control the use of the, uh, of the system? Come with me and I'll show you the control system. Okay. The control box actually plugs into a standard power outlet and uses a very small amount of electricity. There's a circuit board inside of here that controls the flow of electricity to the unit and there are small cards that you can take out and interchange to change the frequency of the electromagnetic field so that as the quality of your wastewater changes, you can adjust the treatment um, by changing the cards. Okay. And, and how has it increased the efficiency of the treatment plant and has it reduced your cost any? It has made a significant impact on our treatment and our costs. We have seen a significant increase, decrease in sludge production, um, usually about four or five loads a week less, and we've seen about a third reduction in coagulant polymer use as a result of this unit. Melissa, one of the things the committee was very impressed with was the level of community service that they saw within the application. Can you give us some information on what you all have done here at the facility in the last year? Sure. Um, in 2010, we had several different um, events. For Earth Day, we donated $2,000 to the Mile Branch River Park in Hawkinsville, Georgia. The Mile Branch Park is located on the Ukmulgee River, which is the receiving water ultimately for our waste, treated wastewater. Um, we also got involved with the Rivers Alive group and helped to organize, plan, and execute the first annual Houston County River cleanup in October. Um, our associates, mostly from the Environmental Department, provided um, our personal boats as well as volunteer power, and we went and cleaned up 3,600 pounds of trash from 10 miles of the Ukmulgee River. Um, then later in the winter, we actually donated and planted some trees for the park. And we're planning a big watershed cleanup in April. It's a company-wide initiative. They want every Purdue facility to participate on April 2nd. So we'll be holding a watershed cleanup on April 2nd here in Houston County. Fantastic. Very impressive. Well, Melissa, I just want to say thank you on behalf of the committee. We appreciate being here again this year, and we wish you all the luck in the up-and-coming competition here. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure having you here.